Welcome to California. I made it to Reading, and uh, here's Casino Club. That's the first uh, card room I could find, and I don't expect really to find there uh, no limit for all them. Uh, it's gonna be probably one table of old people playing uh, Big O, five card Omaha. Let's go and check it out. And uh, this is like some big main street, so the government it uh, warns you that you are exposed to engine exhaust, motor vehicle fuels, pest control, and landscaping products, and you're gonna get the cancer. If not by that, then warning drinking uh, distilled spirits, uh, beer, cooler wines, alcohol beverages may increase cancer risk. So there's your uh, government caring for you. Two tables. Let's see what they're playing. That's the good one. Well, I played hour and a half and the game fell apart. It is not bad card room, it's just that, uh, and it's a big property, but it looks a little bit dated and dark. Uh, it's not modern looking. So, uh, played hour and a half, and had a burger, and now I'm out. I cashed out 300, so means zero profit, zero loss, which is good, better than any kind of loss. I'm gonna go roam around the town because it's sunny and pretty. There's a Sacramento River, there's park on the river. This is Turtle Bay East Park, just a mile from the casino on Sacramento River. This area was flooded often because the river was shallow and goes wide. But later when they uh, built the Shasta Dam, they start regulating the flow. It's a nice big park, open space. People come fishing, walking dogs. So, when I went to a, to a game, there were, uh, I think, uh, six players, two, five, no limit. And there was another table that had a round by round, uh, a PLO, big O, which is five card Omaha, and uh, hold them. I'm not in the mood for any high low Omaha, so normally I sit in a two, five game. People in the game had about three, four hundred each, nobody had more, so I bought in for three hundred. First ten minutes, I had a couple of hands with uh, like ace jack, ace 10, ace queen, I raised pre flop 25, couple of callers, flop comes 8 high, 10 high, nothing for anybody, I bet 50 they fold. So like in 10 minutes I was up 150. Little later I have ace queen. There was a blind raise, they have a blind raise, no straddle, blind raise on any position. So I uh, re raised to 45 because there was two callers already. Big blind, he goes 100. Everybody fold, it comes to me. I assume I'm beaten with ace-queen. You don't beat much, but let's gamble. Flop is eight, six, four. He goes all in for about 170. I fold, I have nothing. They show turn card. They have something, you give a dollar to see next card. That dollar goes, goes to charity for some kids fund. And they show ace. This uh, big blind shows an ace. I'm pretty sure he hit both aces. Little later, there's another hand. There was blind raise on a button, 15. I have king, queen. I'm big blind. I call. Flop is queen, eight, four. I check. He bets 25. I was thinking to raise, to see where I am with this, uh, my king, queen. But uh, I played very passive. I just called. Turn was, again, blank. Maybe deuce. I check. He bets. Again, my thought is to raise. I say he's going to fold. But if he goes all in, I don't know where I am. So I just called. River, Jack, maybe he has pocket jacks. I'm playing really bad. 
I check, he bets, I call, he has queen jack, two pair. I had him with king queen, but I play bad. So those two hands, I lost about uh, my winnings, and then uh, pretty soon game fell apart. Only three of us left. At six o'clock, they have a tournament. I'm gonna enjoy now this river for a while here. Sun is going down, and then uh, I may check another casino. Wind River Casino, RV parking in Redding, California. It's on Highway 5, just a little bit out of town, and it's only $27 with full hookups. So this is the real casino with uh, all noise and slots, smoke, smell, the poker room. There's only one game right now. I'm second on the list. And I'm done. Played three hours. This is second casino today, so second game. Finally made a couple hundred. At one moment I was up 400, but then chasing flush twice, lost those. Gas is expensive these days. I came to California. Gas is $4.19. $4.19. Yesterday I paid in uh, Roseburg, Oregon, $2.82 at Safeway. That is $1.50 difference on a gallon of gas. $1.50 one gallon. That's a robbery. Also, in Oregon, they have employees pumping gas. So at the gas station when I was, there were five people pumping gas. So they have all those extra jobs, extra expenses, and gas is only $2.82. I don't know what's in this California. Oh, it's falling apart. Well, I'll tell you later something about this casino and this game. Tonight I'm staying here at the casino. Uh, they have a little RV park. It's all concrete and asphalt. And they have uh, hookups, electric and water. There's no sewer. I'm just using electric. Also you get a pass to pool and a spa. So I'm gonna do that tomorrow. Well, good morning. I'm still here at uh, Wind River Casino. Last night game, I actually liked it. Really soft and easy. There was seven players at the table. The game is 3-5, but it plays like 1-2. Everybody's chasing everything. There was not that much money on a table. Usually people buy about 300. There was one guy with 1,000. Another guy came, he bought for 500. He pretty soon won a couple pots. He had about 800. I was in for 300. Won a couple pots with ace queen, bucky tens. So I was up maybe 100, not more. Then come a hand. I have an ace jack. I decided uh, because I'm on a bottom to act like it's ace king at least. So I raised a lot. I think 35. Because they all limp. They play it like it's one two. Everybody just limps. Five dollars, five dollars. And then when you raise, everybody calls. There's no folding. Ace Jack is not much, but uh, playing with these guys, it is a lot. Almost everybody called. So pot is about $150. Flop is 10, 8, 7. So my Jack gives me gut shot. I still have position and they're checking because when you raise, they have to check, let you bet. So what can I do? I bet 60. A girl on my left calls. She was really loose calling absolutely anything and had, had a couple of rebuys. Also, she had a couple lucky all-ins when she's down to last $50, three, four people call her. And she wins that one with 9-3 and gets uh, $200 back to play. So she's in. The old guy that was chasing me and beating me every hand, he's in. So now Pat is probably close to 400. Turn is a queen, which again, confirms that I really need nine and even if nine comes am I really good there with somebody having maybe king jack but it gives me double gut shot I need nine or a king so I prefer a king there to be sure I'm not losing what am I gonna do now she checks the old guy checks I have two hundred and five dollars I go all in she calls with ah, no hesitation really maybe seven seconds the old guy folds she has, uh, again, nine with a bad kicker, so she needs a jack. 
That's what she's calling all in 200 for a gut shot. I'm telling you, they play it like it's one two game. River is an ace. I mean, excellent pot. That moment I was up about uh, four five hundred hour, four fifty five hundred. Second time I had ace king of spades, and again I'm on a button. So it is pre flop 30. Several callers. There's like 120 in the pot, probably. Flop is 10 high with 10 of spades only. They check, I check. I don't want to give more free money. Ace on a turn would be nice, but no, it's four of spades. Okay, now I have a flush draw. They all check again. I bet 60. The old guy that's chasing me and beating me all the time make it 160. Well, now pot is so big, there's no folding. So I call that. River is red queen, didn't make anything. He goes all in, I normally fold. So I, I'm down now to 150 plus. So I was in for 300, I have 450. Then the stream of really bad cards, long time for probably over an hour. Then comes a hand, I have pocket jacks. I win a decent pot. I have 200 even over my 300. I go, leave, cash out 500, it's enough. So right now, <laughs> The plan is to pack and uh, next stop south on Highway 5 and then uh, at one point turn on 99, I think, highway, going through Yuba City and Chico. Each of them have a poker room with uh, four or five tables, which is not much. Tomorrow I want to be in Thunder Valley. It's weekend and weekend action is usually good everywhere, especially in a casino resort. So I expect a good and big uh, report, Thunder Valley. Adios, and good luck on the felt.